and welcome to my very first YouTube video. It seems to be quite requested on my Instagram, so I thought, why not? I'll take the opportunity and uh, start a YouTube channel during this whole lockdown and everything. People might enjoy it, they might not, I don't know. So, uh, this is a walk round slash tour of my 2005 bagged Volvo S40. So, I'll take you around, show everything I've done to it, um, little quirks and features to it, and uh, Maybe I'll tell you about some of the future plans and that. And, um, yeah, hopefully you enjoy it and uh, see what this thing really is about. Right, so we'll start on the front end of the car, and of course, I'd say the main article in the front of the car would be these uh, little headlights, uh, custom made by myself. Um, first in the world, well, my first set were the uh, first in the world done. But they look, they look great on camera, but in person, not so much. A bit arts and crafts. They're no longer with us. They've been dismantled and broken apart for parts. So it's not really, can't really show them anymore. But I'm looking to doing a uh, future video just because I need to redo the uh, electronic side. Uh, some voltage uh, limiters, etc. So hopefully that'll be a video for the future. Um, all other parts of the car. So um, this is the... Pro Tuning Latvia front splitter, only one, I, well I found out there for the uh, pre facelift. Um, other parts have been colour coordinated. Front grille, I've changed back to an OEM grille with a sapphire black painted uh, grille. Yeah, I've still got the other one, I'm debating whether to go back to it, but I'll leave that up to you guys and see what you guys think whether I should go back to the old grille or not. So. Apart from that, there's not much more front end work. So I'd say most of the magic is inside the car. Um, it's not that not many people get to see, unfortunately. Um, we'll go to the rear end of the car and I'll show you the magic part. We'll go through the engine bay. Um, nothing special, really. It's a two litre diesel, uh, four cylinder. Not the D3, but uh, they didn't do these when this car came out. So, yeah, it's uh, it's clean, as you can see. Let's be fair, the car's not been anywhere to uh, to uh, warrant any dirt. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't plan to do much in here because no one really wants to look under it. It's uh, might hydro dip it, maybe, I don't know. But yeah, shout out for comment if you know any places in the northwest that'd be good for getting any of this stuff done. Um, but yeah. Phone filter, make some whoosh noises, but really, yeah. Yeah, nothing more, nothing less. It's alright for me for now, until the, uh, the plan for an engine swap, but that's later down the line. So, here we have the um, rear end of this uh, beast. Um, a bit different to what you normally see. Um, I prefer the pre facelift before anyone asks if I ever do a uh, facelift swap. Um, so I've got the Maxton rear side skirts and my own custom rear diffuser fins, which are for sale. Um, the, uh, all the other products that are for sale are on my Instagram. So I also have the um, stainless twin exit exhaust, which uh, complements the car so much better. Um, I would like to get a new one. I know ALMG Performance do a um, do one, so I might look to call up him and. Uh, and get something done. Uh, D badge rear, and I've put on this recently new badge. I think it's more fitting for the car, a bit more VIP. Used to have an R badge to piss off purists, but looked crap, so decided to get rid. Um, I made these about, oh, I'd say about a year ago. They are the um, replica uh, Elevate rear taillight covers. Unfortunately, they only did made two sets. Uh, there's no way I'll be able to get a whole set. Would like to remake them in fiberglass. I've got moulds uh, ready to make, but just a case of getting around to it, really. So, yeah, apart from that, oh yeah, the uh, rear window spoiler, which is a nice little addition. Just bought a nice little eBay buy, and uh, came uh, colour coordinated in sapphire black. So that is nice. Save me having to pay, but. We'll go into the Pazis de la Resistance, which is the uh, boot build. Here we have my 
whiskey inspired. So, as you can see, it's all red carpeted. Whiskey's currently not in here, it's in the house because it's cold and I don't keep it in the car. Nice bit of glasses. So, all this was done by myself. Um, everything you see on the car is all done by me basically. So, which I like. Means I have a bit more pride in my work. But yeah, all lots of bits of wood trim and uh, all these uh, bits of wood have been shaped to the bumper. You can see these white bits, but I need to get some rubber edging just to clean that up. But you don't see it, so it's not too much of an issue. So, yeah, complements the car nicely, I think. And it matches the rest of the build inside. So obviously it is a bagged car, but uh, currently she's on the winter spec wheels, which are uh, Fox Racing R1s. They're okay. Uh, this is back from uh, every year and a half ago, so I thought I'll keep them as winter wheels. They're not the um, the special ones that I was able to get for this. They were quite a challenge to get. I'll be honest. Had them shipped in from the states. I'm glad I bought them pre-Brexit, as I imagine the uh, shipping costs would have cost me even more than what they were. Which I'll go grab them now. So. Here we have my uh, very special works wheels. Ta -da. Right, so here we have a uh, set of four, well, obviously you need four, uh, work Schwartz SC3s. Only set available in a 5x108 fitment. Normally they're 5x112, but I challenge anyone else to find another set in this fitment. They are 20 inch, um, 8J, so they're not the widest. I would have preferred a slightly deeper dish, but I thought for the build I'm going for, this uh, it's perfect really. Um, fitment's nice. I have got 15 mil spacers on the uh, hubs. So yeah, these are quite special. It's cost me a fortune. That cost me more in shipping, to be fair with you, than the actual price of the wheels. But it's what you get from uh, buying from the States. 5x108 uh, heavyweight if you want to look him up on Instagram. He's got an amazing selection of wheels and there. If you're looking for something for Volvo, um, he has some amazing stuff. And if you're looking for stuff that clears our brakes, then uh, he, tests, he tests them before he, uh, before he lists them so you know they'll fit any of the larger brakes. But yeah, these are my uh, big ass wheels. So they are 20s. So I've got tyre wise 235. 30 R20s, uh, Goodyear F1s, rubber bands basically for these wheels, so you do feel a lot in the road. But hey, we're doing it for style, not anything else really. It's the main reason we do it, isn't it? Uh, welcome to the inside of my S40. So it's a bit different to your average S40. Um, I've done a lot to it, I'll be honest. Um, but I'll take you through everything I have done. So it has the Walnut C70 uh, steering wheel, um, which you don't see very often. It's uh, you only really see them in the C70s. Um, a lot of people will try and move away from the grand granddad uh, Volvo look, but I wanted to go back to it with the VIP build. Um, I know a lot of Japanese enthusiasts will say it's not VIP because it's not Jap, but I don't really care. It's uh, my own interpretation. So we've got all the um, door cards, all the seats. The colour has been changed. It was uh, white, white leather, but um, I wanted something different. So I got inspired by the red C30 interior. Obviously it's not red, it's more of a dark brown. It's actually BMW Dakota brown. I know, BMW and a Volvo. But uh, what else? So we've got junction produce headrests. Would like to get a few more bits. Uh, They've got a really nice um, rear view mirror. So I might go grab one in, but we'll see. Um, it's a case of whether I'm spending more money on this thing because it is an older car now. It's 16 years old. But anyway, 
So, uh, what else? Uh, got an XC60 gear knob that's been uh, colour coordinated with the rest of the interior. Um, Cop that from the uh, mother-in-law's car, but uh, it's getting on it, so I'd have it. Um, all the interior lights have all been changed to uh, LED, which is nice. Um, much better than the incandescent light. Um, that's about it for the front. Not done too much more. Oh yeah. The air lift uh, controller is in my uh, is in my uh, armrest with a uh, custom mount, so it all fits in there. All been lay 3D printed to uh, to uh, all fit, and it really nice addition, I think. So all matches everything. And then if we look behind it, we have my centre console. So I'll take it around the back, and I'll show you everything in, out there. Right, so we're in the back of the car now, so uh, yeah, uh, not too much back here, I'll be honest. Uh, got some pretty little curtains, but uh, got limo tint on the uh, windows, so much point. Not really, but uh, looks cool. Um, got some motors manual, all colour coordinated, so uh, which is quite nice. All done myself, quite clean actually, which I was surprised myself. Well, it came out. Um, uh, headrests again. Uh, all the floor mats are the R Design uh, floor mats, but all the edging has been uh, color coordinated. Um, but yeah, so I'll just show you the um, center console. So, so you can uh, see from here, I've got my uh, rear center console, cup holders, whatnot. The um, it's actually an inductive charging pad. So if you want to. Uh, Charge your phone, you can just place your phone in here and uh, charge it and whatnot. Yes, uh, if people didn't know, in the uh, S40 V50, you can fold down the front seats. So, uh, something something new every day. But yeah, so the plan is, maybe I'll put a fridge in here. I don't know. Uh, tell me what you think, guys. See what you, uh, tell me what your ideas are. So yeah, you can uh, see from the front position, the gear knob. Excuse the orange cable, I was charging my phone. But, uh, yeah, it's a uh, it's a pretty decent interior. Much better than the standard one, but uh, yeah, I'll just put the uh, starlight on so you can see a better view of it, which is much nicer if you ask me. That was my first video. Quick little tour around the car. Probably not the best, um, but it's something. So, hope you liked it. I'll be doing another one in the future, updates or whatever. I'm trying to get someone in to do a proper video because it's only me on my phone. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you liked it. Any uh, inspiration from it? I don't know. Uh, remember, if you want any of the rear diffuser fins or anything, I do it for the Golf 7, um, Golf R Mark 7. Uh, S40 and V50 facelift and pre-facelift, C30 pre-facelift and the C70 now, so I've just done them. Uh, yeah, uh, hopefully you liked it. Um, I would like to be doing other videos. Um, like I said, I've got one planned uh, next for the boot of repair. Um, I would, I'm probably going to do a Halo install. I did one before, um, got about two and a half thousand views, but wasn't the best, I'll be honest, just a bunch of photos and some text on it. So I'd like to do an in-depth video of that. Um, q and A's. if I do do a q and I will do it on Instagram, any comments, so hopefully we'll be able to get some nice content, answer any questions or whatever. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, um, I'll catch you again. Um, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz, because um, it's you I'm doing this vi these videos for, so please um, get interactive with it. So yeah, thanks, I will see you again.